Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you how to submit form in ASP.NET Core. Before moving ahead, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. Before beginning the video, I would like to inform you that an article has been posted for this video and it contains all the information which has been described in this video. You can view the article through the description link and also download the sample and if there is any demo, then you can watch the same too. Thanks. So let's start. We'll start from the controller. So as you can see, there is a controller already present, which is named as home controller. Now I'll add a view for the action method. It will be an empty view, so I'll directly click on add. So in the view, we'll start by adding a form. So the very first attribute is method. We'll set it as post as we are doing form submission. The second attribute is encryption type. Though it is not required in this case, it is mostly required for file upload operations, but still I'm setting it. The next one is the new .NET Core attribute ASP controller, which is used to set the controller. And the next one is ASP action, which is used to set the action method name to which the form will be submitted. Now I'm adding a table element. In which I'll add the fields and also the button. So the very first field is a text box for first name. I'm setting the ID for the text box. Now I'm setting the name attribute for the text box. Here the name attribute is very important because on the server side that is inside the controller, this particular field value will be accessed using the name attribute value. So the second field is last name. And here also I'll give it a unique ID and a unique name attribute value. Now I'm adding a submit button and for that I'm making use of input element and I'm setting the type as submit. Now let's move back to the controller. Here we'll add another action method which will handle the form post submission call. This particular action method will accept the values of the fields in parameters. So as you can see, I have defined a parameter first name while the second parameter last name. Here the case is not important, but you need to make sure that the value of the name attribute and the parameter name must be equal. Here I'm making use of a viewback object. And I'm setting the value of the first name and last name parameters into it. Finally, we will be adding the HTTP POST attribute, which will mark this method for handling POST calls. Now let's move back to the view where we will be displaying the value of this particular viewback object. Below the table, I am making use of a horizontal line element and using the razor syntax, I am displaying the value of the viewback object. So this completes our application. Let's run it and see it in action. So here I am adding my first name and then the last name. Now I am clicking on the submit button. As you can see, my name is being displayed. We learned how to submit form in ASP.NET MVC core. Also side by side, we learned how to fetch the values of text boxes inside controller. And also we learned how to display values using viewback. So with this, we come to the end of this video. The link for the source code is available in the description. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon 